Hello friends, this video is going to be the part 2 of ecosystem and applied ecology, all sort type questions. Some related biology terms, trophic level, the state that an organism occupies within a food chain or ecological pyramid such as a producer or primary consumer, many animals feed at many trophic levels, species. A group of organisms that exhibit common characteristics and can breed among themselves to produce fertile offspring. Ecosystem A community of living organisms that are interdependent with the support of non-living elements around them. The way living organisms and the physical environment interact is through the exchange of nutrients and energy. Food web a system of food chains that are interconnected unlike food chains and organism in a food web can occupy many trophic levels. Ecology The study of relationships between living organisms and environment. Why is it unusual for numerous organisms to be present at the top of the ecological pyramid? The amount of energy available until reaching the top of the pyramid is not enough to sustain many individuals. Since only 10% of energy is transferred from one trophic level to another, less and less number of individuals can be kept alive as we move up the ecological pyramid. What is the biomass of an ecosystem? The total biomass of living organisms in an ecosystem. Biomass refers to the mass of organisms and does not include the physical components of an ecosystem. If the producers in the ecological pyramid have a total of 80 kilocalorie of energy, since about 10% of the energy is transferred from one trophic level of the ecological pyramid to another, primary consumers will have 8000, secondary consumers 800 and tertiary consumers 80 kilocalorie of energy. What is ecological succession? Ecological succession, the gradual and fairly predictable change in the species Composition of a given area is called ecological succession. These changes eventually leads to a community that is almost in equilibrium with the environment and such a community is called a climax community. Share the complete sequence of communities that change sequentially in a given area is called the shear. Individual transitional communities are called successive phases or successive communities. Successive steps leads to a change in diversity, an increase in the number of species and an increase in total biomass. Primary succession. Succession starts from the place where there was no or organism. This is a slow process. Example, new cold lava bare rock, new pond, etc. Secondary succession. Succession begins from the place where living organisms were lost due to natural or man-made causes. It is a fast process, example, post-harvest field, flooded field, etc. Succession of plants. Hydroid succession. When the succession of plants occurs in wet areas, it is called hydroge succession. Xerous succession. When the succession of plants occurs in dry regions, it is called xerous succession. In both cases, succession proceeds towards meric conditions, that is moderate water conditions. Pioneer species. The species which invade a bare area are called pioneer species. Lichens are usually the leading species in primary succession on rocks. Lichens secrete acids to dissolve rocks and thus help in weathering and soil formation. 
bryophytes come after lichens higher plants come at the end of the process small phytoplankton are pioneers in primary succession in the water they are followed by free floating angiosperms then rooted hydrophytes sedges grasses and finally trees over time the reservoir is converted into land and thus the climax is forest what is nitrogen cycle nitrogen is an essential component of amino acids proteins and nucleic acids dna or rna all organisms require nitrogen to survive certain microbes and natural processes such as electricity can convert unusual nitrogen in the atmosphere into usable forms of the nitrogen cycle what are ecological pyramids the three ecological pyramids commonly studied are pyramids of numbers this shows a sharp decrease in numbers as we move up the trophic levels this pyramid is usually straight but there are exceptions to be to this rule for example the number of insects that eat a large banyan tree is innumerable pyramid of biomass this shows a sharp decrease in biomass as we move up the trophic level this pyramid is upright in terrestrial ecosystems but this pyramid is reversed in in the oceans because the biomass of fish is much higher than the biomass of phytoplankton pyramid of energy this pyramid is always straight primary producers convert only 1% of the energy available in sunlight into npp here npp meaning net primary productivity of this only 10% is available to organisms at the next trophic level limitation of the ecological pyramid it doesn't take into account the same species belonging to two or more trophic levels it is based on the notion of a simple food chain which never happens in nature saprophytes are not given any place in these pyramids what is energy flow energy flow the chemical energy of food is the main source of energy needed for all living organisms this energy is transmitted along the food chain to different trophic levels this energy flow is based on two different laws of thermodynamics the first law of thermodynamics which states that energy can neither be created nor destroyed it can only be changed from one form to another the second law of thermodynamics which states that as energy is transferred more and more of it is wasted what is energy flow in the ecosystem energy flow in an ecosystem is one of the major factors that support the existence of such numerous organisms for almost all organisms on earth the primary source of energy is solar energy it is interesting to know that we receive less than 50% of the sun's effective radiation on earth when we say effective radiation we mean the radiation that can be used by plants to carry out photosynthesis most of the sun's radiation that falls on earth is usually reflected back into space by earth's atmosphere this effective radiation is called photosynthetically active radiation overall we get about 40 to 50% of the energy from photosynthetically active radiation and only about 2 to 10% of this is used by plants for the process of photosynthesis thus this percentage of photosynthetically active radiation supports the whole world as plants are producers in in the ecosystem and all other organisms are directly or indirectly dependent on them for their survival energy flow occurs through the food chain and food web during the process of energy flow in the ecosystem plants being pr- producers absorb sunlight with the help of chloroplast and a part of it is converted into k 
chemical energy in the process of photosynthesis. This energy is stored and carried on in various organic products in plants for primary consumers in the food chain when herbivores consume plants primary consumers as food then the chemical energy stored in plant products is converted into kinetic energy the energy degradation will happen through the conversion into heat then there will be secondary consumers for the degradation will occur when these herbivores are ingested by first order secondary consumer carnivores finally when tertiary consumers eat carnivores the energy will be wasted again thus the energy flow is one way in nature furthermore in a food chain energy flows obeys the 10% law according to this law only 10% of energy is transferred from one trophic level to another the rest is lost in the atmosphere this is clearly explained in the following figure and is depicted as an energy pyramid what is trophic level the producers and consumers in an ecosystem can be organized into different food groups and are known as trophic level or food level producers that is plants represent the first trophic level vegetarians that is primary consumers present the second trophic level primary carnivores that is secondary consumers represent the third trophic level whereas top carnivores that is tertiary consumers represent the last level what is ecological pyramid an ecological pyramid is a graphical representation of the number energy and biomass of successive trophic levels of an ecosystem charles elton was the first ecologist to describe the ecological pyramid and its principle in 1927 the biomass number and energy of organisms from the producer level to the consumer level are represented as a pyramid hence it is known as ecological pyramid at the base of the ecological pyramid are producers followed by primary and secondary consumers tertiary consumers are at the top in some food chains quaternary consumers are at the top of the food chain the number of producers is generally more than that of primary consumers and similarly the number of primary consumers is more than that of secondary consumers and finally apex predators follow the same trend as the other consumers wherein their number is much less than that of secondary consumers for example grasshoppers feed on crops such as cotton and wheat which are plentiful these low cost are preyed upon by common rats whose numbers are comparatively less rats are hunted by snakes like cobras the snakes are eventually hunted by apex predators such as the brown snake then by eagle in short grasshopper mice cobra brown snake eagle what is food web the food web is a network of interconnected food chains it encompasses all the food chains within a single ecosystem it helps to understand that plants for, form the foundation of all food chains in marine environments phytoplankton forms the primary producers what is an ecosystem an ecosystem is a community of living organisms that interact as a system with the non living components of their environment what are the different types of ecosystems different types of ecosystem include terrestrial ecosystem forest ecosystem grassland ecosystem desert ecosystem tundra ecosystem fresh water ecosystem marine ecosystem what ecosystem do we live in we live in a terrestrial ecosystem it is the ecosystem where organisms interact with the land forms example of terrestrial ecosystem include the tundra taiga and tropical rainforest deserts grasslands and temperate deciduous forest also form terrestrial ecosystems what is the structure of an ecosystem the composition of the ecosystem includes the fauna 
and physical characteristics of in of the environment including the amount and distribution of nutrients in a particular habitat it also provides information about the climatic condition of that area which is the world's largest ecosystem the world's largest ecosystem is an aquatic ecosystem this includes freshwater and marine ecosystem it covers 70% of the earth's surface what makes a good ecosystem in a good ecosystem native plant and animal species interact with each other and the environment a healthy ecosystem consists of an energy source and decomposers that break down dead plant and animal matter returning essential nutrients to the soil what are the non living things included in an ecosystem the non living things in an ecosystem include air water rocks soil temperature and sunlight these are known as abiotic factors of the ecosystem what is the main function of ecosystem ecosystem is the functional unit of the environmental system the abiotic components provide the matrix for the synthesis of the organic compounds this process involves the exchange of energy biotic versus abiotic factors biotic factors the, the factors of living organisms and formerly living organisms include interaction between members of the same species and different species or biotic factors any non living factors such as geological geographical climatological factors they both the both factors can limit or increase the success of a population in a particular environment what is biogeochemical cycle the chemical elements or molecules in the form of elements or molecules traveling through the living and non living parts of an ecosystem are the approximate routes that follow between the earth biosphere atmosphere lithosphere and hydrosphere for example for photosynthesis and cellular respiration to the carbon oxygen cycle how is the detritus food chain linked to the grazing food chain in a natural ecosystem gfc is the grazing food chain it is shown as below producer primary consumer secondary consumer dfc is the detritus food chain it starts with the dead organic matter it is made up of decomposers which are heterotrophic organisms like fungi bacteria etc gfc is the major operation of energy flow the dfc can be linked to the gfc at some level some organisms in the dfc are victims of gfc animals producer to primary consumer by decomposers then primary consumer to secondary consumer by decomposers these natural interconnections of food chains form the food web